with my Delta sander, which I've had for years and years, and I've worked on this sander so many times, it's ridiculous. Anyway, a few problems I was having is the belt is slipping when I'm running material. So my solution to this is every, about every couple years, I have to take it apart, and I take this awl, which has a point on it, and I actually pound little divots. You can see the holes all the way around this spindle. And you can see I've ground a little bit of rust off, but I will keep adjusting this, turn it on, move it, and then I'll do those divots all the way around. This works absolutely fabulous for a wide belt drive system. Uh, it doesn't last forever. you got to do it every now and then. And uh, I thought you guys might want to know about that because I know this is a common problem. Another common problem that you have is that your cantilever system here will go out of time because it gets hard to turn. And of course, these things have junky plastic gears up underneath here, which I have replaced an aftermarket metal gear in there. So I don't have that problem anymore. But recently, uh, this got out of timing somehow and I'm going to show you basically quickly how to uh, fix this problem. So basically you take this off, with these bolts, comes right off. Then these things here, there's a pinion bearing inside of each one of these, plus two washers. You got to take these apart, and it's a pain in the butt to get these off. But you take, you just take this off. And then these will slide right up. Pull these off, clean them, grease them. And a pinion bearing is very thin. It looks like a washer, but it's got bearings in it. These get stuck and it makes it work crappy. So get those done. There's three of them, one here, one there, and one back there. This is your main drive. You don't have to mess with that. So once you get these put back together, then you take a square, a small square, which I don't have one with me, but you measure from here to the top of this. Remember, this won't be on here, so you'll just see this thing here. You want to get all these absolutely the same height all the way around for your starting timing. And what I do is I'll mark them, a white note on each one. And I'll tell you, it makes a huge difference. Um, if you're having issues with this pulling, turning hard, it's definitely got to do with those pinion bearings getting rusty and skanky. And uh, another thing, you have to relieve your belt tension to work on this thing. Um, these two bolts right here. Don't over tighten them. Too much tension. You can do it by hand. Just push with your thumbs and, and get it tight. You can feel the belt up underneath there. Um, you, you want it snug. You don't want it tight. And I learned this from an old guy that had a video. I don't know if you're, maybe you'll watch this, but this guy was a wizard when it come to fixing these things. So don't over tighten your belt. Get it nice and snug. And um, all this, these problems that you have with these things, uh, they can be worked on, but it takes some patience. And uh, I've been known to say a few cuss words when I'm working on it, but that's just part of it. So anyway, guys, I know it's not a great video, but it's uh, good information, and I hope it helps some people. Thanks. Bushman out.